greetings, and welcome to another edition of Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. I am Griffin Lobster. Let's get this show on the road. Alright, level 3. Go Goomba. Alright, Koopa. That's a Koopa, not a Goomba. Silly me. And there's a... Well, you know what? You're just being in the way, so I'm not going to even bother. There is a... A leaf in one of those over there. But there's also a leaf like right here in a little bit, so it doesn't even matter. I don't know how they decided that a leaf turns you into a raccoon, but whatever. <laughs> it's up to them, I guess. Of course, these are also the people, I guess, who determine that a mushroom makes you big and a flower turn gives you, gives you the power to fire out your hands. So, same thought process. I guess. Alright, there's a one-up in this structure here. So you just gotta keep on tail whipping your way in. And you have to deem if it's worth you have to deem if it's worthy of your time or not. Kind of a little bit of a time consumer. Especially considering it's kinda of hard to hit those blocks that are one space off the ground. And there's just something about it that makes it hard to hit. You gotta hit jump and tail whip at the same time. I think that's hilarious. That Koopa Going back and forth there really quick. That always happens to you if you just let him go. Nice little fun part, <laughs> I guess. Okay, kill this guy. Knock that, knock that, knock that. There's like coins in all these, so... You know, go nuts, I guess. Alright. Hit that Koopa and get out of there! Let it do its thing. Alright. There's coins in here. And I'm fairly certain that there's a coin in, in this block I'm standing on, but I'm not going to risk my raccoon suit or further embarrassment to show you, so... <laughs> Alright, I got a star. Yay! Yeah, you got a card. Right, I'm going to fight these Hammer Brothers. Oh, actually, Boomerang Brothers. They all, they all look the same, though, on the screen. Got us a music box. Now what that does is it'll put Hammer Brothers to sleep, and they won't move around, and you won't automatically start the level when you encounter them. So now this this next level right here was one of my least favorite as a kid when I like first played this game, because it's really hard, or at least it was as a kid anyway. I always use like a P wing or something like that just to make it easier, because that sun over there on the left is a total bitch, and it'll like chase you here in a little bit. But I figured out that you can kill it. With a Koopa shell. So, that's what I did. That's what I've been doing ever since. So, really not that big of a deal. But Mario just bought out the sun. You have him to thank for the apocalypse. And I got five extra lives for acquiring a third card in a row. Alright. I didn't get a mushroom <laughs> this time. Major disappointment. My mic here a little bit. All right, um, let's go get to this Toad house. Get my goodies, courtesy of my main man Toad over here. Um, let's go here. Oh, come on, another dumb mushroom. Just gonna wait for an end spade for a decent item. All right, here you have another choice: level four, level five. I'm just gonna go in order and start with level four. All right. You can bypass this whole level by doing this. And this level's a pain in the ass, too. There's like... There's like, uh... Hammer Brothers and stuff. But this, the, like, if you take this path, it's just like... It's like Coin Heaven, only not. But, I mean, there's like more coins than even Coin Heaven has. It's ridiculous. So many coins, so many coin opportunities. So just kind of like leisurely grab your coins. Let's check this out. <laughs> Every last one of these has a coin in it. So I can grab these as well. As you fly up and grab some of these coins. Oh crud. And then, of course, you can 
turn the blocks and the coins and vice versa. I have to go back and then get the rest of my coins. And that is the whole level. Seriously. There's even a glow leaf for you here, Dan. And I usually come back and get these coins. Because I can. Come on, greedy. Alright, that's all for that one. Just gotta jump over that guy. And you'll probably still get the heart. I mean, the star. I was actually surprised I got the star there. So. Alright, level 5. Here we go. Chain chop level. I'm not sure if you can kill these with your tail or not. I don't think you can. No, you can't. No, you can't. Well, easy come, easy go. Alright, but you'll be able to get another here in a little bit. Another, well. Still get a mushroom. I'm getting that mushroom. I don't care. Don't worry, don't worry about the power up, especially in this level, because this level has a bunch of chances to get a leaf. So, the coin there, and here's a little. Uh, well, that never happened before. That's weird. Thing we do just to make a vine go. Climb on up the vine, shimmy up the vine there, Mario. Some coins up here in these clouds. Down the pipe. Okay. Here we have. Interesting. Little puzzle. This is kind of hard to do. The idea is to get, try to get as many coins as you can by breaking as few blocks as you can. And of course, hurrying to get all the coins would be great. I'm not going to get that last one. But, oh well. Like I said about the, there was another leaf, and here's another one. So, like, there's no way you shouldn't have a tail by the end of this level. Don't worry about the, don't don't sweat about that chain shop there. He's probably off ignoring you anyway. All right, level five is out of the way now. I'll go do the spade real quick and get disappointed once again. Okay. I can do it this time. Oh, man! There's gotta be some kind of trick. There's gotta be some kind of trick. Look at that, and I always get the last one. I get two out of three. Stupid. Okay. Another Boomerang Brothers here. One hop, simple, simple. Dodge stuff. Got a hammer. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna show you the location of the third warp whistle here. Um, what hammers do is they break these, like, rocks that are in your way on the path. Like, I've, if I were to choose a hammer right now, I'd break that I'd, I'd break that block. Now, you can't use hammers unless you're next to a block. And I think this game wants you to waste it on this block. I mean, it's totally pointless to break that block. But if you go up here to this top right-hand corner and then use your hammer, you'll break that rock, and you'll go right, and you'll get into this little area, which has these guys. There's two of them here. I need to kill them. I'm actually surprised I didn't get hit. Wow. And you get a your third magic whistle. For me, that's my second, because I didn't get the second one. I'm not going to use that. That's just going to pretty much take up space in my inventory, because I want to show you every level possible. But if you do want to bypass the game, like entirely, those are all three whistles. So you basically be able to go straight to the end. This game also gives you a, a frog suit early, I think. I think you get a frog suit in here. Not sure though. Yeah, you get a frog suit. Frog suits are actually absolutely pointless unless you're in water. So, oh man. Okay. Well, I got two levels left in this world. We got the pyramid here, and then we got the fortress. So I think I'm gonna cut it here. And uh, I would like to thank you once again for tuning in. Next time on Let's Play Super Mario Brothers 3, I investigate a pyramid and then take down another coupling. You're here to ride, folks. Alright, thank you for watching.